guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time viewing one of my videos my name is l morgan and on this channel i share my experiences as a merchandise coordinator i share my day in the life or work with me video vlogs and just other tips and tricks that go along with that type of job so if you're interested in learning more about merchandising or being a merchandise coordinator then keep watching today's video i wanted to break down the pros and cons of working as an in-store retail merchandiser versus working as an independent contractor now i do also want to preface this video by saying that i am basing this off of my personal experience i have worked as an in-store retail merchandiser and as an independent contractor which i currently do so these are coming from my very own personal experiences so yours may be different feel free to share down below in the comments section i would love to see it and so for anybody else that is watching this video can get more insight on both of these types of jobs my pros for being an in-store retail merchandiser is that the hours for the most part are going to be consistent and your pay is going to be consistent. I know around the holidays the hours might get cut. Well after the holidays the hours might get cut a little bit. But it's not like you're going to not work for a whole month. I as an independent contractor have no projects for the month of January. Yeah. But we'll get into how I overcome that in another video. The second one is getting an employee discount like. I know that sounds kind of like small, but for me, I don't get no kind of discount <laughs> working by myself. So if you're actually like working in a store, obviously you want to get those benefits from the store depending on like what your level of employment is there. Like if you're full time, I'm sure you're able to have access to benefits, health benefits, and then obviously everyone will get the employee discount and any other kind of promo or whatever the store might have. Like you get that camaraderie from like the store like I know sometimes like you may not always get along with your co-workers but like I've said in other videos I have taken away genuine friendships and relationships from working in retail but you know you don't really get that feel when you're working by yourself so when you're working in store you know you get to you know you get to really get to know people and form those relationships so I would have to say my cons would definitely be not having like a flexible schedule like I have now so for example like for the holiday season if you worked in store then you know you're working the holidays you're working the day before and you're working the day after and depending on what holiday it is you could possibly be working on the actual holiday so i would have to say that's definitely a con not really having like a monday through friday schedule and off on weekends i have had a job where it started off that way where it, i was monday through friday and off on weekends but it changed like maybe a week or two after me working that job like i think they just kind of hooked me in with that schedule like yeah so that ended up changing so with retail obviously if you work in it and work in that industry then you know that is really a non-existent work schedule monday through friday off on weekends is not that doesn't exist another con for me is constantly having to answer to some sort of management like having to deal with having visits like corporate visits having to deal with like checking in with the manager or just having them like if you have that type of manager that micromanages you having to deal with things like that the number one pro for me is definitely a flexible schedule i love my schedule my only gripe that i have is just the area that i'm in i'm only able to have part-time hours but if i was full-time this job that i currently have would be perfect but being able to have my make my own schedule within a time period as long as i make sure i complete my projects before the deadline i love like it's just i i can't if you ever get a chance to work as an independent contractor then you will really understand what i mean like you can't it'll be hard for you to go back to like working in one spot working nine to five once you have had that type of freedom like i can't i can't ex i can't describe to you like that's just like honestly that could be the only one on the list but the next pro is being able to travel now granted with this particular job i don't travel as much like i'm pretty close in proximity of the projects that i have to do with my stores that i have but when my very first one when i was traveling and i was living in columbus and i would travel here to dothan actually and i would travel other places but it was cool to be able to do that and get paid for it <laughs> 
Like, what? They'd be able to fly out to different cool, fun places to merchandise stores or set stores. That may end up happening for you. I encountered someone when I was doing one of my store visits. They were setting a brand of denim and she was actually from Texas. They flew her here to set the wall. That could be some, that could be you. And number three is not having to consistently answer to management. So I don't constantly have somebody down my throat. Now, granted, I do check in with management when I go to my different stores just so they know that I'm there, know what I'm doing. But they usually let me do my thing. My regional manager, I reach out to her if I have to have a quick schedule change. Like if I have a visit on that day and I can't make it, I'll go ahead and email her and let her know when she can move it or I'll email her about my expenses, making sure expenses are being added to places I have to travel to. Things like that is what, you know, that's about as far contact that I have with my regional manager. And side note, I've never met her in person. I've only talked to her on the phone. So that's how, you know, like we, you, you don't really have that manager interaction you know what i mean not saying that that's a bad thing necessarily but like for me like i don't want just let me do my thing you know what i mean don't don't be all down my back let me let me do what i do <laughs> and let me go home now the cons i only have two and the main one is inconsistent hours like i just mentioned earlier this month of january i have no projects so if i don't have any projects that means i'm not making any money so that's definitely a con. Second con is not having any benefits. Now, I want to say that maybe for certain jobs, if it's full. I just want to break down the differences between working as an in-store retail merchandiser and working as an independent contractor. So yeah. So that's all I have for you guys. Make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to this channel, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Hey y'all, make sure y'all check out my new fashion and lifestyle channel. Just click the link down below in the description box or up top on the screen.